Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from Frank Lawler. Thank you, sir. Hello guys, welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. It's 0946 on Monday, March 20, 2017. This is Ed. And this is the view that Ed has given us on the camera right now. We've swung the mass camera around. You can see these are the front steps. Here's the awning. Okay, and this straight line out, that's the curb right in front of the lab. So we're going to have some fun. Morning, Moose! Morning. Dog! So we're going to have some fun because I have a $1 coin. Focus. Okay, $1 coin, right? Gold, shiny, awesome. And I have a tube of really good glue. <laughs> And I'm kind of a dick. So. Be right back. Need to answer this. And hours of entertainment were had by all. <laughs> Hi, Doug! How you doing? <sighs> I feel better already. So, I'll let you know how that turns out. There, there might be a blog of that. Huh? Well, just keep it there. I use that for stuff. It's my whoop glue. Hey, Ed! I would like you, sir, because I don't want to keep the mask cam on that all the time. See if we can add a camera whose entire mission is to get shots of the coin glued to the sidewalk. No, that, that's the mask cam. That's the static camera. Oh, that's a static camera? So we already have a camera aimed there anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's the greatest thing ever. And we record that camera. Yes. That's fucking awesome. Can you set focus to the coin like that'll be the spot to focus on? Not as good as the focus fits on that camera. All right, we need a better camera there. That's a lot kind of, of a that's yeah. We we need a lot better cameras in a lot of places. So all right, cool. Thank you, sir. It's too early for Batman. He might get it on a Monday. Batman early. Good Batman. Good Batman. So, weather report has a number in it, on the long forecast, on the five day, has a number in it that starts with six. So, this could happen. We could be, we could really, if we have an amazingly productive day and a bunch of parts come in today that are supposed to, we could, in theory, have that boat in the, in the water by the end of the day. That's not gonna happen. But, by the end of the week, I think that's realistic. It's so nice out. Good morning, love! Come on in. You, you don't have to walk around. You're cool. Lotus is here. Batman is not. I'll be back. See that plate does get smushed into the hole. Two bolts. And you can see the hole where the wires are going. All right? Okay. 7 16 wrench. I would put some poop on there. I can totally put some silicone grease on there. Uh, Good call. Very 
Whenever you're cramming some thick black thing into your tight little hole, you always want to have a little goop on it. Do you know this from personal experience? <sighs> you don't want to know the things I have to do for fundraising. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, that's yeah. Don't don't use the dielectric. No, we'll use that. It's, be it's electric components. It is. It is wires. <laughs> it is wires. So we got the new pedo tube in. I didn't even know. Bing. Nice. Pedo tube. It's French, you know. Is it a registered pedo tube? Huh? Is it a registered pedo tube? I don't get it. Pedo. Pedo. Oh, shut the fuck up. It's pedo, he says in perfect fucking French. So, this is what Batman broke today. I did not break it. I it was fine. Was Water pump worked fine. Batman took it apart. Now I need to get a whole new housing. Where's the old impeller? Right there. Yeah, see, it worked fine. Look at that. Obviously, it's been heavily used, so it must have worked. If it didn't work, the motor would have overheated and it wouldn't have turned anymore. So this worked fine, and I got a new impeller because you want to. Whenever you're doing a serious bit of maintenance on here, you want to replace the impeller. This is the this is the coolant pump for the engine, basically. This this sucks water up. Well, here I'll show you. It sucks water in these holes right here and sends it up to the motor, runs it through the motor, cools everything out, and it goes back down. I think it goes back down through this hole, I'm pretty sure. And it comes out here, through these holes. Let's, you know, I wonder if that works. Let's find out. Let's do an experiment. If I shine a light through the hole that I think the water goes down, like that, and I look in here, I can see the light! Look at that! So yeah, the exhaust comes right out around this hole, which is kind of cool. Cram it in there. Take it! Take it, bitch! Yes! Okay. So, that's how that works. And this is the little water pump that holds the little impeller. Here's the old impeller. And, uh, and it pumps water. Like, in one side, out the other. It ain't rocket science. But this one's all... It's all melty. Melty and unhappy. So we're gonna see about replacing that. That's gonna be a bit of a thing. I don't know. Would you replace this, boat guys? Is this is this bad enough to justify replacement, or is it like, nah, it should be fine. It's good for another ten years. Stick it in there. It'll be fine. Tell me what you think, because I, I don't know. It's like a fifty dollar part to get a new one. So yeah. <sighs> Look it up, Amazon net. See what it costs. We need an upper and lower, and we'll see if it's worth doing. Um, this is a Mer Cruiser well, Alpha One sure. Generation One. For the upper, for sure, because there's supposed to be a little bit of a sleeve that's bushing. Oh, through, oh, which is what's melted. There's supposed oh, to be that? a little bit of a. Oh, yeah, then okay. that's gone. Okay. At least that's what the picture looked like. Let me pull that up again. Okay. That's really sure. What the hell is melted like the there? Right there? I think. What, what melted there? Was this on top? Yeah. Okay, so here, take the camera. So this is a little. The little bushing, bushing to no, keep it's pretty it the cracked. Sealed. It's yeah, pretty and we bad. got a new one comes with it. Okay, so we got an old new one there. Yeah. I. Th I think personally, I think you clean this shit off, and you so put some grease right here. You, well, I don't even think you need to scrape it off. I think it'll just pop right off. I think this is. Either yeah, old bad baked grease, because it, yeah, look at that. Look down inside. I just, think that's grease that's just melted. It feels too crunchy though to be. It does have a plasticky feel to it. Unless maybe, I'm trying to think of what else would be plastic that would have melted. Yeah. That's why I'm like, man, this thing, this is a part that see... provides the cooling water to the whole system. Yeah. Is that is that dried grease or is that melted plastic? That's the question. Because it looks like dried grease that got crunchy. It's, it's okay, either dried grease so, or it's melted plastic. So still, plastic. why is the grease getting so hot that it's drying up like that? If it's, this is where water that's cooling the engine is coming grease, through. It's dried grease, it's still sticky. Oh, okay. It's, so I'll look just... At, look at that. Yeah, I can see that now. 
So that is. So you just really want me to we'll just scrape it clean. I and think we clean it out really good, and it'll okay. be all right. And if it fails, then we'll know. Because the engine will just stop. Well, we no, we've got temperature monitoring on the engine. We can we can right, measure yeah, this. Yeah. So if the engine temperature spikes, then we know we got to replace this. Say so those aren't really meant for the <laughs> prime. You see, you bent it. You oh, here, watch broke this. my cheap Harbor Freight. Bend scraper. it right back, just like that. That's perfect now. Yeah, yeah, perfect. 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 Great. All right. All right. I say we clean this up. All right. All right. I'll, I'll clean it up and put it back together then. All right. All right. If it fails, then we'll end I'll up. I'll blame you. I got oars in the boat. I saw your cute little. <laughs> you like you like the emergency oars? See? Break Everybody's giving me shit. It's like, oh, you gotta have oars in the boat. Okay. Well, they're they're cheap too. So. Yeah. We'll be back. All these things. On. I would start with this tube because that's going to be up. In the high. Huh? It goes up and kind of bends around. It'll, it it kind of has a channel. Because I don't yeah, recall pulling things. that out. No, I do. So that was totally you. So yeah, it got cut right on there. the other one. Oh. And then it kind of curves down. Oh, yeah, and it yeah. just sticks straight out. Okay. Um, so you want to put that one on first because that'll be the hardest one to get to. Yeah. Is put the big one on. A pipe? Like a little bit? Yeah. Be a hose clamp somewhere? Clamp. Mm -hmm. We might just have to. Yeah, it looks I, I, have, I have a handful of hose clamps in stock. It looks suspiciously like a coolant hose, which means it definitely Yeah, well, that's what it is. It runs the water up into the engine. I told you, it looked like a coolant hose. Um, it's a sucky coolant hose, though, so it's not like it's under pressure. Uh, excuse me. No, nothing. All right, well, I'll, I'll grab some hose clamps for you for that. But so, tube, then the big one, and then do the shift cable one, and the little one. No, that is under pressure because that's the pump is down in the lower unit, so this yeah. is this is pressurized. Yeah. Blowing up. Mm. Okay, so right. I need a hose clamp for that. So I'll go grab some uh, hose clamps, right? But that's pretty much everything. And you just want me to glue the uh, the love stuff. Right? Uh, we are now officially painting robot. Yay! I just put the first coat of primer on the first part, which is the lower arm. So it's happening. It isn't cleaning forever. I like cleaning forever. You're nuts. I don't even like painting. The second so part of funny. the paint. You, you showed the picture of that mass, and for a second there, I thought you were doing something very naughty to a grinder. Because it looked like <laughs> to a grinder. And I was like, no, it was, it was the tip of this oh. before, I, before I trimmed it. Yeah. It was just funny, though. First coat of paint. can't come in here and see something that I know can get clean and look beautiful and not take care of it. See, you just beat me to it because I was going to do that, but I haven't had, you know, time of day at this point. Oh, okay. It takes a minute to respond to the safety bullshit. Oh, there's that safety bullshit. Yeah, that one. So last time I left in big squares, people were just grabbing big squares. And using the whole thing. Using and the whole thing, getting it all gross, even though I'm like, Part of the action used to know how to That's do way that. more better. 
you gonna take the wrinkles out of the propeller on this one? We good. Okay. No cutting chunks off. You can I'm smack gonna, into submission. I'm not gonna cut chunks off. It. That's just that's just deformed a little bit. I said I didn't realize how beat up this one was until it's actually wow. It's, that, that one's pretty well used. Of course, it's way easier to do when you have when you put it in gear. <laughs> no, because you get the table and you just. All right. Yeah, this impeller was ugh. Yeah. Way bad shot. I wonder how many years that had on it. Um. <laughs> well, I'm guessing more than just one or two. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. This thing ran dry quite a bit. I mean, it's glazed. Well, that's yeah. a good thing we're replacing it anyway. So you want to put the other piece back together? The other piece. Well, we got we can put the bell oh, housing. The bellows in. and yeah. put the bell, bell housing in. I don't know. His hands are kind of big and meaty too. Come here, big meaty. Might need a lot of lube. Except no substitutes. When you need big and meaty, get yeah, Minkus. Minkus is big and meaty. It's what we like. Yeah, we can do the bellows. That'll yeah, be fun to watch. The bellows to put the bell housing. All right. And I got I got the hose on as far as I could muscle it on top. Bottom hose is in all the way. Yeah, that's that's as far we'll put as the clamp on and then it should be good. I still feel weird about that hose. Let's see what the internet says. Oh, that it runs up this way. Yeah, it's so weird that that's there's the there's a hose ran. that runs. I mean, this and is the exhaust manifold. It gets hot enough that this melted or this this burned yeah, up here, and this runs right through everything. Rubber has a different melting point than rubber. Well, yeah, but still, it's just but I, that's, weird. That's uh, heater hose wire, or ho heater hose. Yeah, it goes yeah. next to hot spots in an engine too. There's. I I'd be more worried about it rubbing on the damn mount there than on the lift tab than. All right, here you go. Yeah. I don't know who cut it a little bit short. We cut right. it the exact length the other one was. I would have made it a little longer. If that's me. Well, I can. Hey, do we got a size cut. This is all cut. Huh? Bit of a size queen there. This is all the thermal king shit. It's the exact same stuff we got from the thermo. We got. I see we got the go fast louvers over there. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I gotta. Food. I gotta paint them. But yeah. Well, if you're gonna paint them, I might be able to bondo up the one that's cracked and make it not look completely. I'm okay with Where's that. Where's it cracked? Oh, it's got two chunks missing out of the thing. You can play with that later. Let's do bellows well, for I'm now. I'm just showing them. Well, we got a, a few minutes until we got about ten minutes until we got to get up there for the board meeting. Got plenty of time. Let's do bellows. It'll be cool. Oh, we got like not the board. Well, you don't want to reach between my legs and just start putting bellows on. Now, how about you do that and I do what you're doing? I, I had uh, broccoli and a bunch of other stuff at lunch. <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. And and I had red bell peppers. That's the worst for me. Ooh. All right. Uh, where'd the okay. So you... He's not bellow. Right? No. No? I'm, you're learning stuff! We're, we're both learning stuff. We need the other end of this. God damn it. Use it. Use it. Here. The one bellow has got to go through this cable. We got to leave this cable attached so we can. You mean this cable's got to go through one of the bellows? Yes. Not the bellows got to go through this cable. I don't think right. it's gonna fit. No, probably not. And that's the shift cable bellows because that's how we get the shift cable back on. So this guy goes on the small one, the big one on the big one, the little one on the little one. How hard can it be? A little bit of schmoo around each one and go. You want to do the big one first because where the freaking I guess it depends on where you put your. Uh, A little bit of smooth, snap the bell along. A little bit of smooth, snap the bell along. So we got all the electrical stuff in. We got the blower in. We got the trim pump in and mounted and wired. And we have, have we trim, tested? We have the trim sensors now. Yeah, we got the trim sensors installed and wired. They're just not mounted yet. You got to have the yeah. thing on. Okay, so you guys know specifically which way this goes on, because there's it's different on. Um... 
Oh shit, it is. Yeah, see, the old one didn't have anything on it, though. Well, it was so routed away. It couldn't have oh, see, that tells me right there. You got a little clip here. I uh -huh. bet you that goes with that flat spot. Right uh, I bet you. I bet you it actually goes with this tab right here. The metal tab. Oh right yeah, there. yeah. That's probably a grounding tab or something weird like that. See? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that shit. It's not a grounding tab. Well, they got a grounding it's wire on the this stupid thing to oh, indexing whatever. As a rule, you don't ground rubber parts. It's funny like that. I know, I'm just, You're just doing a quick fit first. That was adhesive. How this stuff is. That's the glue? Yeah. I'm, I'm equating this a lot to like uh, grip cement on a motorcycle. Yeah. I, I think that's about accurate. The bigger the gob, the better the job. Not necessarily. Totally. It's got to run underwater. So which way does the tab, tab go down? I think it goes like that. Yeah, it goes like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. to get a better vantage spot. That's a way better shot. Look at that. We only have to do that three more times. Yeah, but those three other times are smaller and easier. No. We gotta do the other boat. They're even well, bigger. Yeah, but there's more room on that one. Handy with the deep well socket. That makes it easier. See, that's yeah. When it sounds totally a help. Size that socket. I don't know, but I've almost got it. Oh, okay. okay, maybe not, but you're not going to be able to do any better unless I take and spin the clamp a little more. Because it's too tight to spin around? Yeah. That's custom wrench. It's for getting up in here. Cobalt, thanks for marking name tools. Okay, five sixteenths. That's seven. Yeah, I saw that. Well, that's looking. What 
God damn it, Minkus. I can't <laughs> help it. I gotta be able to see what I'm I doing. I know, but every time you come up, I gotta change sides. Would you rather a nut driver or is that one? I, I, uh. Yeah, yeah but. but handle for you got a handle for it, then yeah, you. <laughs> Not quite. Right. Damn. Oh, we can turn it if we need to. Would that help? <laughs> Just gotta make sure we don't snap the sensors. Is that wire supposed to go through there? Because I'm pretty it sure goes it's not. Down. Oh, okay. Under. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Right that makes sense. The other one goes here. So. Yeah. Let me go turn the wheel. Go turn the wheel. I'll go turn the wheel. Which way? Uh, Fingers clear. clear. That way? Yep, that's good. That's it? All that far? Yep. Well, I barely moved it. That's all you needed. Okay. Now I might have been a little bit better. Oh, yeah. This is like, I don't think I have a used version of the floor. Buddy of mine was telling me, he's like, yeah, you don't want to take the bell housing off to do bellows. I was like, fuck you. Maybe oh, on, man, maybe on a bigger, doing maybe that. on a bigger one like that we could get away with it, but not not on this one. This is way too compact. So I no longer have roommates. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah? Yeah. I'm excited for you. They, they 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 took and slinked out of the house when no one was there and You put the schmoo on, right? Oh yeah. Okay. I'll so now we do, do the outside. I'll let you do the oh other. no, we do the no, bottom. We got, we got to do the other bellows before we even okay. snap on. Because well, there's the other ones right there. Yeah. Way easier, smaller, easy to get to, convenient. Totes and the goats. And then we do the little bellow for the throttle. Yeah. Shift. Shift. Throttle is up there with shifting. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Amy's here. Amy's here. Hi. It's like there's a board meeting or something. Yep. One would think. We well, could just hold the board meeting like right out here. here. Uh, uh, well, Minkus is I think it'd be way better to hold the board meeting on a boat. <laughs> well, we we got to get we got to get the big yeah. boat going. We'll hold the board meeting on the, the boat table. Inside. I'm cool with that. I don't think there's a single member of the board that'd have a problem with that. Somebody bitch that we have to drive all the way to Grand Haven for the board meeting. Paul would. What? Having to drive. Amy yeah, would do it in a heartbeat. But he'd bitch if I haven't drive out to the Grand Haven. Uh, Amy would be like, hell yeah, get the happy car out. I'd be like, let's do this. <laughs> Are you indexed right? This doesn't index. Okay, that, that, then just well, index it's, for it's the... It's slightly oblong. I, yes, yeah, it's, it's slightly, slightly, slightly... To match the whole Then just index for the clamp. Because remember, you can't spin the clamp once it's on there. It's hard. It's hard. It's here to help. To make us, I believe in it. fun thing is we get to do it the other way, upside down, while that's kind of, yeah, and all the pleasant. Oh, it's a butthole. Yeah, <laughs> cloaca. <laughs> cloaca. Which is easily one of my top five favorite words, cloaca. I like butthole. The, the term is bellows, guys. Bellows. I think I'm on as far as I can go. Problem is, I'm gonna need a. So, be sure they don't ground parts because I see a metal ring going through here. Yeah, all the way through, but that's just to keep it stiff. Yeah. 
That gives me an idea. Hmm. Never mind. Don't worry about it. No, I don't need it. T tell me what you need. I might be able to help you. The other boat headed out for it. Yeah, that's what we, we've never had to do this before. And now we have to do it twice because we have two boats with inboard motors. Yes, this is, this is, this is called an outdrive. You have the motor inside and then the drive unit on the outside. Right. The a true is inboard motor, you just have everything inside and then you just have a stick that comes out with a propeller on the end. And then it has like outboard motors. And shit in it. Yeah, it's, it's, awesome. all, it's all inside. There's this has got you got your, your your shroud and you got the bell housing bellows you got your upper unit and lower unit all make the outdrive all the fun learning all the things I could take Adam out of his job in a year and watch yeah <laughs> move to Maine and steal Adam's job he's gonna love that I can understand now why they make the, the bellows tool. They make a like a rib spreader thing that you just oh so it's it's, it's like a hose spreader for an RV yeah. yeah yeah but you can do it internally so you don't have to quite fight it like this but I'm not fighting it he doesn't he doesn't like us enough to spend fifteen dollars I I'm making sure it's I couldn't tell if it was really worth it for us to get or not because it's like a I twenty dollar really tool like, it looked because I saw the twenty dollar one it looked kind of jank okay. then they go they had like a hundred dollar one that was yeah like, I ain't doing that yeah if I wasn't either. No, I did not tighten that one down yet. Okay. But I figured that's something that you can do while I'm on board me. Sure. So that's the part I wanted you to do, because that's the hard part to do. Go get Jerry. He's got small hands. Yeah, he's got to deal with shit up front. There's like members and shit here. And even I've got to deal, been dealing with that today. It's like people are coming in wanting to use stuff. I don't know why why they think this is okay, but they just, they just come in and use their stuff and pay us money to do it. It's weird. <laughs> I don't understand. Now, if they pay us enough money, we're like, we didn't have to worry about other shit. It'd be right. cool. Right. We got to get like 10 more members and we cross 400. Okay. Like local active full price paying members. We're, yes. we're, we're almost at 400. Right? Yeah, and we've been busy. busy. Like, we've got, there's been people doing shit. Are you gonna point it up? The up clamp, hose clamp? I gotta point it, don't worry. Alright. You can adjust it any way you want it too. Yeah. Hypothetically, I can get the bell housing back on today, but we would need the. Yeah, we can do everything but the throttle cable. Right. And I will check after the board meeting where the hell that is. Right. And then once once the throttle cable's on, we can remount the outdrive. But with the bell housing on, we can test the trim. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's... That's mine. You can have some. That's Chris Car Candy. Who knows how old it is. It's safe. Oh, that's the life You can totally have a whole roll of life savers. Yay. Those were, those were from Mom not too long ago. Yep. His mom loves this. Yay. I've been giving them away. I found that spare truck key you're looking for. Yeah? It's in that little box that was in your car. It was oh. sitting in the boat for some stupid ass reason. What the hell? I blame you. If you, if you, if you, if you, get the you want to see if I can find a universal? You get a socket in there and you can do it. All right, we got to do a board meeting now. Three minutes to board meeting. I'll be back. All right, guys, time is 21.44, and I want to show you where they're at. Stuff got done. I ordered the, the bellows tool to be them out. Now, just so you two know, both of you guys can stay here as late as you want. Like, the, the normal hours and yeah. rules do not apply to you two. Okay, you late as you want, yeah, I and I will have you a key tomorrow. Make sure to remind me. I'll sort I that will. out. I probably won't be until later. That's fine, whatever. Just let me know. You kids have fun. So, that's after. There's a little bit of tape pick off, but uh, that's the access, that's the base of the robot. There's Axis 1, and both of these will have paint on them tomorrow. Joey was amazing and was able to get that damn thing in the spray paint booth. We need 
a bigger spray paint booth. Oh my god. But uh, we also need lighting in the, we, we need wash down rated high output floor. I need, I need lights like that that are wash down rated for the paint booth because it's totally useless. I tried painting in there, it just sucks. I'm gonna take everything to high voltage tomorrow for uh, paint. But yeah, that's what's up. That's what we're up against. Oh, I'm gonna go edit now. So you guys have fun. I'll be on live in a few minutes. I'm, I'm, no, I'll be all right. Yeah, I'll be on live in a few minutes. I'll be a little bit late for tonight's show because I'm gonna get footage dumped and everything. It's a late day. But uh, I'm on live, you can check out, look at the links below in the description. I go on live nightly at about 10 o'clock, give or take. It'll be cool. So tune in, get in the IRC, links below in the thing. I want you hanging out in there with us, talking, hanging out, having fun. I play a lot of music and it's just a cool time. And uh, yeah, that's today's Captain's Blog. I'll see you tomorrow. Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from Frank Lawler. Thank you, sir.